I just remembered what we were doing last time. What were we doing last time? We were always there's only three people to hang out with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were. So we were doing Toko, right? I don't know that... Do you think Toko's abilities are worth it? Erm? Um, well, if you hang out with Jack, Jack will give you uh, trigger happy. Yeah, but you said cool, you, we but... couldn't do that. Yeah, I don't think we will be able to. Yeah. Um, hold on. So, the only thing is, even aside from abilities, I don't want to be anywhere near Hagakure for long periods of time, nor Byakuya. So, Toko's like the last Yeah, but one. I've got to I've got to hang out with everyone because I'm going to. Just the other ones would be either during you know, fall playthroughs or whatever. Or I just kind of show those things. So, I don't want to, but I'm thinking we should yeah, hang out with Byakugan. Because Hagakure honestly is giving me an aneurysm constantly. And while I don't really like Byakugan, I feel like less of a fucking moron than whenever I talk Hagakure. Trust me, this isn't by choice. Because I'm gonna, I just don't want to have to, you know, waste time hanging out with somebody twice without doing anything. Stares over at Aoi when she refuses to talk to me. Yeah, rip. So he is. Um, over in I the mean, well, the room. first. The only skill we get from Toko is vocabulary, which increases the bullet capacity, which is effective during the bullet time battle. And how many hangouts in that is that? The first one? Interesting. <laughs> but you have to do all of her to get to Jack, which I guess is where her second skill is at. Yeah. Um, so. We're not going to be getting to that, but that sounds useful. Yeah, Biaki is just... It, um, steadies your aim a little. That's it. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we I was waiting. Forget? When are we ever going to get out of here? Not <laughs> can I have my kill it forward to if I get get out. Shutting off Toko. What's your problem? What more pity? Aren't you such a good person? Showing me all this pity. Yes, yes I am. I'm glad you realize how great I am. Also, just so you know, um, Byakuya's second skill is that it influences, increases the influence gauge by five. Okay. So I don't really know all of what that means. Because I forget a lot of the game mechanics. Well, you'll have to look that up and tell me. I spent some time with Toko. Toko and I grew a little closer today, as she made that face. Mm. Would you like to give Toko a present? Yes! Definitely. Is it mineral water because she's a thirsty asshole? Uh, no. She would have liked number four, but we don't have it yet. Um, try for go down to the rings. You should see a few rings together. Up, oh, Zol's diamond. Yeah, okay. she likes that one. A brand name diamond, popularly used in engagement rings. Although this one's just imitation. You're just trying to trick me! Trying to make me the butt of your joke! I got the impression that she liked it. That's good. She's just standing there. Does she want something? Another ring? You want a ring, girl? You want a ring? But she's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Telco? <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? If we're going to be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What did you say? 
Um, After that part about being trapped, we're gonna be what? Um, friends? <laughs> What do you mean, friend? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me! <laughs> I've already been hurt once before! I'm not gonna let it happen again! You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Who hurt you? C come on! You don't really care about me! You don't want to know about me! Even I know that! No, that's not true. What the heck? Fine, then tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. you tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre speciality is. <laughs> if you really want to convince me, you give a crap. You should at least you know that. The genre that Ultimate Writing Project specializes is, is romance, correct? Yeah. Okay. Which is incredibly ironic considering... You How know. you are. Yeah. It's romance, of course. You actually knew? Your big success was Soul Years of the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit, the fisherman shot to the top of the hottest men poles, right? How did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. I'm, I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, I'm blind! Your straightforward nature blinded me! <laughs> Token ran off screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Today's your Toko's report card is updated based on your experience with her. You just learned the skill vocabulary. I don't know how that taught me vocabulary, but sure. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Once we're all done, head back to my room for a little while. I have a new skill from that. Awesome. Yep. <clears throat> bong, bing, bong. Also, I realized there was no actual intro to this episode? Yeah, whatever. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, the intro fine. was gals being pals. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Homosexuality? It is now 10 p.m. Yeah. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Shut up, bear. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. You're just a fucking Sweet teddy Sweet dreams, bear. everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I know it happens every day, but I just really like listening to these, to be honest. Yeah, enjoy them now, because by the third game they're going to be real bad. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Yeah. Monokuma Theta. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make you extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But no, how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, "You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Have you ever met the tail? Have you ever heard the tail of the crab and the monkey?" Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. So what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey thing clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear and image. That's the secret origin story of Monokuma. I mean, to be fair, it's probably because of the connotation crabs have with the STD. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Such a good line. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. A body has been this one! No! Na, 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 na. 
you? Um, no, mate. It might be a Hikari. <gasps> huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. I think it was Hikari, actually. <laughs> so I think you're right. Yeah, I feel like that's just how he screams, so. Like a bitch. Yeah, I was pretty sure. Oh my god, oh, we got a big problem, man! What's wrong? Look! Hero's fingers shook as he pointed. Hina! Are you okay? What happened? She, she killed her. What? Oh. I don't Hina. know if what happens... I don't know if what you think happened happened, Hero. Do you have eyes? You've gotta be kidding! Oh, right. Sorry, I th yeah. thought it was still in cutscene mode. <laughs> no, definitely not. No, 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 She's not dead! Open your eyes! She no way she's dead! Why? What happened? Uh... Hotoka and Hina, just all of a sudden, they were yelling and they knocked the pepper off the table! I hate you. Yeah. And that led to a sneeze? Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real! And look at my shapely collarbone! Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Anyway, you're totally not adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay, or else. I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get into the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Sure thing. You don't need to read this. It's so, definitely already I wanted read. to read the wee woos. I'm Patrick. Okay. Woo woo. All right. She decided Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I didn't yell it out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic! That just makes you sound even more hostile. Yeah, I mean, you're an idiot. Hey, you know, what the heck happened? Uh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and uh, flew off the handle. Do you mind reading that in a more spectacular word? No. Fine, I'll just click it myself. I was gonna have you, you know, read that, but let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? I mean, I did read it. I At said first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times! Serious. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And then things got out of hand. Genocide Jack got loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all these horrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the doors to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges, and there she stood before us. Sakura! Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, n n nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, Hiro, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> It was me, it was Genocider Jack! It's all the demented, murderous fiend's fault. Damn. To hurt Ina, damn you. To leave me alone but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> you live on your own floor of the house, you can yell if you want to. Yeah, you can leave your friends behind. <laughs> And I've been out friends. Well, I've been out friends with a friends of mine. Well, so you're what a big boy. What is this? Is that better? 
better. <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness. I can't forgive this. Oh. Hero, if you had to hit, if you want to hit someone, hit me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? Why is this directed at him? I don't hate you exactly. Because he's one of the people that doubted Sakuraika. <laughs> Somebody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? That's me. I think, oh no, it's yeah. you. Damn. Okay. Um, what's all this noise about? Kiyako stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It seem... I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line. Right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Are we going to have this talk now? Oh. <laughs> um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, That's I figured. Fine. It's fine. Huh? Oh. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Real talk, I was actually trying to talk to her, but... Yeah, uh, the I game don't... was like, no. Yeah, um, I literally actually tried to tell you this. it didn't work out. So uh, then I tried to talk to Sakura, and that didn't work out. And then Monokuma got to talk, because Monokuma always gets to talk. You didn't... You didn't want to confuse everyone until... You... You could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. To, to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such I arrogance wouldn't... from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I, I may have overreacted. Is that the first blush we've seen? Yes, it is from her. Mwah, yeah. Mwah. Waifu. Waifu. Huh? Anyway. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore, so I want to talk to you about something else. Huh. I don't think we've seen this before. We have. Where it's when two I on think... the same screen? Yeah, when the game first taught you about that, there were three, I think. Okay. Well, I I thought it was three different messages, not just an extension of the same message. No, yeah, it's all the same message. What does he wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where is it? I actually somewhere think every single time we've seen one of those, it's in tandem with another one. That's why it's there. Uh, future game can confirm or deny. Whatever. Um, and like I was saying, where do you want me to go? Somewhere where no one can hear you scream. What? I... So, <laughs> where? Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, Shall but... Well then, shall we get to going? A uh, go ring. With your typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Uh, Kyoko, I hurried to catch up with her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence, I chased her. And eventually, we arrived. And I came. <laughs> oh, the dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. Mixed baby. That's right. It has to do oh. with alter ego. But you said we didn't need alter ego oh. anymore. 
I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not that us that needs Alter Ego, he has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glide across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Uh, yeah, I'll just read it. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask Indeed. us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um... Oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I've finished my work? I don't want that. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as, every on the as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want, too. So to help everyone else to solve the mystery of the school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey, now I see why Hifumi wanted to fuck it. Oh. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can't say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. I don't know if that's the first time, but I think that might be the first time she's actually, like, without prompt, called someone a friend. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure whether it was just to actually say it, or if just to get me to go along with it, but I appreciate that. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I don't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. I didn't want. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Yes, I'm some shady the real centaur next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. <laughs> hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to be able to say I know I can do this. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance cameras. Any bathroom, any bathroom, Kyoko, has no surveillance cameras. You know, I need to go into a bathroom to check that, but also, I think it's more so a place where we could connect, not just the bathroom. Yeah, I know, but... I don't think the bathroom have, e have even a cable ports, or Well, whatever. your bathrooms are pretty lame, then. You've seen my bathroom. Yes, it is lame. The secret room. 
That's it, the secret room you told me about. That I I've went seen to. It. I got knocked out in. I've been there, Makoto. Yeah. I definitely remember there was no surveillance Indeed. camera in there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. A hard zoom in the bottom left. Yes. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. However, however, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We also have to move Alter Ego and the Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. You're wrong. Correct. <laughs> because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. You're wrong. Kyoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? She is I wearing, mean, like, a jacket with, like, a weird zipped-up vest underneath. I don't really understand the fashion choices made here, Kyoko, but go off. Eh, I mean, it's fashionable. It's not exactly practical, but it's fashionable. It's true. About as fashionable as Leon wearing a giant-ass fucking safety pin. Listen. You can get safety pins that big. I'm gonna be real with you. If if individuality wasn't so, you know, beat down, I would totally wear something ridiculous. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I still wear shit I think is cute. Even well, yeah, but it's just, so like, cool. things, like, if you can make your own clothes, go for it. Go and actually make something. Don't just, like, oh, hey, I made this, like, slightly different version of a t-shirt. <laughs> you want a giant-ass safety pin? Wear your giant-ass safety pin. <laughs> Not gonna judge him for it, but that's just because I hate Leon. Alright. Okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. There's a lot of reasons to hate Leon. His fashion is not one. Just him it as a person is. Him as a person is Do you know how many fucking people cosplay Leon? It's horrendous. I'm like, guys, there's so many better characters that you could cosplay as. Bruh. Such as... Literally anybody else besides Fumi and Hagakure and Byakuya. Anyone else. Okay, um... There was a correct answer, and you, you didn't say it. Who is what? Best Boy? Chihiro? Okay. Other Best Boy. Sorry, I wasn't really thinking of Chihiro when I said that. Taka? Yes. Okay. So then. Yeah, there's just one cosplayer on TikTok who does really good Taka. Their name's Peehee. Shout out, Peehee. Let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? Heh, <laughs> bear. <laughs> <laughs> we start backing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. I don't know. It. That's you. <laughs> it tickles. I don't know why. It's... You can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. He could hear us the entire time? Yeah. Why were we typing? <laughs> I don't know, G. <laughs> I ain't got the answers you're looking for. I don't know. To have him react like a machine. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I don't know if I'd react. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However, Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go in there and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. I like the idea that no one even realized that Shihiro was always spending time in the bathhouse working on this the entire time. Like, no one seemed to realize that. I guess everyone just thought Shiro really liked bats. I mean, yeah. Especially considering, I think the mastermind knew about Shihiro's, like, you know, being a boy. So they probably just thought he was trying to sneak away to bathe alone. Because mm -hmm. he'd refuse to bathe with people. Where you, where you going, buddy? Yeah. 
past the bathroom. Is right. it is it the second floor? I wasn't sure if it was the second or third floor. I think it's also, the second floor. I think it's that bathroom right there. Also, I'm still curious why exactly the boys' bathroom was uh, something she checked out. Why? She'd check out anywhere. Are you sure all of the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. Listen what? Just hurry up and go and make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go! Okay, okay, I'm so going. Then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Am I Australian now? You're kind of going Australian now. Yeah. I, don't, I don't understand. I'm not trying to. What happened? You, you just... You're doing things today. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. Just making sure I looked at the top corner, just to make sure they install a camera at some point. <sighs> you feel it. Like once they know people know about the secret room, they'd install a camera there, but I guess not. Well, they might not really want to come out and do that. That's not something that a bear can really do, so. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Found it. There's a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect it to Alter Ego. That does not look like a very long network cable. So I guess we're sitting on the floor. Or moving the gas, which would make more sense. I pulled the laptop and we connected to the Ethernet port with the cable. And then Chihiro immediately blew up. Ooh. Or Alter Ego, I guess. And that should do it. Yeah, I think it worked. It Just leave it to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. No. So please just wait a little while longer. Just hold tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him for, with one last thing. No matter what, we're going to get you out of here. You and all the rest of us. As friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. Alter ego, Loki wanna fuck. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko. Yes. Um, so we're just gonna split up? Of course. I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you gonna do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Can you talk a little bit louder? <sighs> See, that's the problem. If I talk louder in the British accent, it turns into Australian. I mean, Australian is just loud British. I know, that's the problem! But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should so, we... If we can find some new clue, then that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Ego, but I was way more tired than I'd realized. So before long at all... Ooh? I'd completely dozed off. Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. I open the door, and suddenly there's a burning pain in my stomach. Makoto. Makoto, get out here. Kyoko, what's going Indeed. on? 
Tina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. We go in the rec room, it's just a really, really bad sculpture of Hina. Sure. Makoto! Kyoko! Hina, what's wrong? So something's not right! In the rec room! What's inside? There was a window on the rec room door and I hurried to look inside and when I did... Sakura? <laughs> we go in there, she literally just has headphones on, she's just... She has a... Uh, no, she, uh... Lo Your AirPods. Lo oh, lo-fi lo beats to... <laughs> lo-fi hip-hop beats to lo relax slash study. Day. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. Oh, she's sucking some dick. What's going on? Uh, it's Excuse me. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking and I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. Huh? So what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway... First of all, we need to get into that room. So I'm pretty sure I'm right about what happened and that she was poisoned in her powder. Also, I'm just... What happens if someone were to kill themselves? What uh, would Monokuma do? Um... I don't really know, so just keep going. Like, I'm, I'm just curious, like, if I kill myself, do people have to figure out that I killed myself? Or does Monokuma yes. just say, yeah, this one's a freebie? No. You have to figure out that they killed themselves, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a good way to kill everyone right at the beginning. Kill yourself in such a way that no one can guess it was you who killed yourself. Yeah, slit your own fucking throat. <laughs> Not even that, just do it in a way that somebody couldn't trace it back to you so that, you know, they blame someone else for it and then everyone dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mass suicide. But the door is locked, right? If we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Now that's mass murder via genocide, or suicide, genocide. Yeah. I it just yeah. said... The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Then why? It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair. Either way, the door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in? Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Honestly, with how things have been going, it really should be bulletproof glass. We're just gonna smash it and smash our hand in the process. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here! Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, Yo, right? Yo, she's just chilling, bro. Come on. Also, more than chill. one of us- More than one of us have looked through the window at the body. If it is a body, then... It should really play the body announcement. Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence, but that silence didn't last long. He here! I found a broom in the classroom! Use it! Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Come on, please, hurry! I really feel like this is a sexist thing. Look at Makoto, he is shrimp. Okay, you two stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung it as hard as I could, and he directed it at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the record floor. I stuck my hand through the window, the now open window, and started jostling the chair, leaning against the door. The chair is pretty heavy, but if I could just... I pushed it on it with all my strength, and finally, the knob turned. Sakura! I ran to her, up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... She's smiling.
Oh, I the announcement didn't play oh, because yes. we didn't know if she was dead or unconscious or just sitting there. I mean, yeah. So. Whatever. Now I that we know. I can only feel the last lingering warmth of the living body. Life had abandoned in Sakura's body. And then. There you go. It's once you discover a dead body, not just a person a chilling in a room. You may use however you like. The class trial will begin. I had a feeling. I know you did. And she's the only one that you wanted to survive. Well, not the only one, but she's the one that you mentioned. She was like, I hope Sakura doesn't die. And I was like, oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? <sighs> it's almost like Sakura is fantastic. Sakura. Yeah, she, she could go Super Saiyan. Just like Taka. All my Super Saiyans are dying. <laughs> Goku's up next, bitch. I mean, he's already died a bunch. That that's really not surprising. Sakura is dead. She's really dead. I heard Tina talking, but my eyes started stared steadily forward. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko bandage began to gently inspect Sakura's body. Oh. Okay. Um... Why do Hina's eyes look so fucked up? Hina! Focus! I have to go get I them. I have to really the don't others. know how to turn off the auto There we go. My buttons on my controller are being real dicks. There we go. That's the button. And herself, Kyoko bandage gently... I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura is already dead, checking for a pulse or reaction? That's what it said. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room, and I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over. I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do a thing, time just past. Yo, you remember how the first corpse was your, like, almost girlfriend? And after I don't know how long... I got everyone. Hina, your eyes. Please. For the love of God. Please. <laughs> Fix him. I hate looking at this. What? Mm, yes, yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sugger has been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, just Kyoko began. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means? Hm. Interesting. Sakura was murdered, and by someone in this very room. Is that what you're going to say? No. Whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault. It's one of you, Hiro Byaki Otoko. One of you killed Sakura. I'm glad she has full faith in two of us. What? I mean, we're you're the only other us. two that didn't hate Sakura, so. Yeah, you're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. <laughs> what if you did it? I know it. You I think that's Monokuma. You know it? Okay. Yeah. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase that so much. He's just the only one that's not here. Yeah, yeah I was kind of sitting here and I'm like, who the fuck is... Alright, Monica. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it just randomly introduces a new student. Also, look, apparently he is the next Super Saiyan. Yeah. What are you doing here? Come on. It's an obvious. I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. Yeah, that's right. And don't get so mad, Miss Asina, you're gonna ruin that rude little face of yours. Come on, ooh, not you two. Ooh, ooh. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura? Sakura wanted to challenge the Mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... Then I killed her? Hmm, <laughs> sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. 
<laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sucker came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that. It saved me a lot of trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. Is this... You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, you get all pissy potty at me. You better figure out who did it first. Because, I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> what is this? What the hell? He owes them one? I will forgive you. I hate him! I hate this whole thing! <laughs> well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Mastermind, after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I... I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina is guard number one. But we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. Th this time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that in order. The audacity yes. of men. Get the fuck of, out of here, of you rich men? ass. Yes. This is nothing to do with men. This is well, no, real. Well, it's piece a of meme. Shit. It's a meme because there's a there was a TikTok where a guy's like, "Did you know a hundred percent of men have the audacity?" Very funny. But okay. um, yeah, the audacity of this little bitch. I would Kyoko just slap him, just stab him in the neck right now. If you kill him, just just do it. Just... You know, I mean... we're investigating Sakura's murder first, so this won't count. Unless he was the blackened. Unless he was the black, I guess. Also, but at that point, why... good riddance. Even more so. Well, that means we have to kill Kyoko, then. Nah. Yeah. Worthy sacrifice uh, to be able to get rid of that. No, but seriously, though, the fact that this might actually happen, and that we wouldn't go, no, we need Kyoko working on this, you could be the black end, fuck you. Yeah. In order? Yeah, no, Fine. this is bullshit. I'll stay behind. Then settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on! Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is? Hiro, Byaki, and Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. What? It's your fault! One of you killed Sakura. <laughs> I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. Okay, so We've die then. Investigates. I hate you. Die. Die. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. And considering both guards are probably in agreement here, get fucked, bitch. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? I, hate this I won't bitch. ask I hate you to so let all of us in, just let me. I hate him so much. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Also, oh my god, I made a mistake. Ah! Uh, also, this is really random and has nothing to do with this game, but I thought it was pretty funny. Last night when I got the food, I ordered rice pudding, and they didn't give me rice pudding, they gave me a piece of blueberry pie. And I was like, why is there a piece of blueberry pie? I didn't order blueberry pie. And then I saw that my rice pudding wasn't there, and I was like, damn, they forgot my rice pudding. Wait, oh, the blueberry pie is probably a replacement for my rice pudding, and I do like blueberry pie, so that's fine, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> no, don't really care. <laughs> Just talking in a mile a minute over here. I felt like I had to tell the story of my disappearance of rice pudding and appearance of blueberry pie. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. And you, hero? Do you really object? Um, it's 
it's all clear now. Yes. It's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. No, you shouldn't. But we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us who are still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Biaka, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who'd want to touch a filthy dead body? Can you be the dead body, please? We're gonna cut all your hair off, feed it to you, and then strangle you with it. Anyway, sorry, I have a lot of pent-up aggression. Uh, that's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sokri's killer, Listen to me. all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura, it's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Um, I, mean, I better check the monochrome file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. On Kuma file number four has been added to the truth bullet section of your hey. handbook. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is so... that? The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door is blocked from the inside, there's no way in or out until we broke the window. There's like zero escape, right? Right? Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors? Eh? Eh? In other words, no. No, okay. In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery novels or books or whatever, but could it really happen in real life and right before our very eyes like this? Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. I was really hoping that we'd get to, like, move or something, but I guess I'm just gonna have to end it here. Guys, next time, let's play Dun Dun Rumpa. Do 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 do. We're gonna be investigating Sakura's murder, quote unquote, and, uh,. Potentially going into the trial, maybe the next episode after that. <laughs> oh no, why the fuck am I yawning? <laughs> I never get enough sleep. <sighs> Alright, sorry for making me yawn. Uh, no, you always yawn during recordings, remember? Yes, I know. Never forget, rest in spaghetti. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.